Hello everyone. Welcome to Total Transformation from your brain to your biz and this is part one of a three-part series on mindset, money, and management. So a bit about me. So before my own transformation in health, wealth, and business, was very focused on the world's version of success, partial purpose, and giving making others greater than six, seven, eight figures, earning six figures, 155 plus pounds, probably about 165 at my heaviest, spending over 150% and in debt. Since going through now a six year journey, creating a life to love, focused on my full purpose and passion, helping others do the same, limitless potential and giving back, 120 pounds. My spending is at less than 100, less than 40% of my income, and the growth keeps growing exponentially and is greater than 100% and free. Not debt free yet, but almost there. So, in this three part series, we're going to be talking about uh, part one mindset, health, and wealth. Part two is going to be purpose and profits and some activities. And part three, we're going to go into wealth generation, value creation, and business building. So focusing first on mindset and how you approach things and the energy that you're putting out there and focusing specifically on the divine laws. And you can see all 12 of them listed here from oneness that we're all interrelated and all integrated vibration and the energy that you put out there is so important and to what you attract cause and effect compensation the law of attraction that everything is relative and here's an attachment and I will include this in my e-blast as well And let me pull that up real quick. For some reason, the link froze, no problem. So you'll have this in the e-blast as well. And I will attach it on the freebie portal as well. So basically, and this also is an interactive activity that you can do on your own. So we live in a world where everything is connected and everything we do say, think or believe creates ripples. So how are you doing well in this area? How may you improve? So in that, thinking about the things you do, the things you say, the things you think, and what you believe. So that's where you can think about how you can improve. The law of vibration. And um, the same things apply to our thoughts, feelings, desires, and wills and each sound and has its own vibrational level. So thinking about, you know, anything that you're negative about, whether it's food, you know, money, a relationship, how can you level up that vibration so that you're vibrating at a higher frequency? Law of action. So if you have goals and they're not yet manifested, well, that simply means that you need to create more action that the goal isn't aligned yet with the action that you've taken. So anything that you could improve here, law of correspondence, and basically the principles that the physical world has their corresponding principle as above, so below, the law of cause and effect. So this goes directly to reaping and sowing. The law of compensation. So don't simply look at money as the only gauge of compensation. So we are inundated with instant gratification and we are inundated with now, 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 and it's cultivated, you know, a culture and a society so often to focus solely on money as a level of abundance. And it shows up in so many different avenues. 
It shows up in opportunities. It shows up in gifts. It shows up in friendships. It shows up in other blessings. And so often, you know, I cringe because I used to sometimes do this after college and nonprofits because we're inundated with this and the world trains us like this. And I cringe now when I see other people do it because it's so unattractive, you guys. Like, perfect example. I was in a yoga studio the other day and, you know, not naming names, but, you know, at all because I, you know, I don't want to gossip and point fingers, but just an illustration of an example that this particular yoga studio offered someone an opportunity in front of me to teach for them and do stuff for them. And her immediate response, instead of being, oh, thank you so much, you know, and gratitude. And, you know, I'd love to learn more and sure, like it could lead to other things. Her immediate response was, well, you guys don't pay enough. And, you know, out loud in front of like four or five people, and it just shows such an entitlement mindset and or a fear mindset. And again, I resonate with this because I used, realized I used to do this even, you know, in six-figure roles because there's this fear that we're never going to be paid our worth. There's this fear that, you know, people are going to take advantage of you because they have and, you know, in the past. But recognize when you do stuff with a great heart and gratitude that that particular person or that particular company may not compensate you, but God will and someone on down the road will. So your attitude is so important and, and reflecting on gratitude and just being grateful for anything that comes your way. And that results in also the law of attraction. So negative attracts negative and positive attracts positive. So where are you exerting negativity, whether it's, you know, with money, with a relationship, with um, health, you know, with the things that you've been given. And if you're not grateful for every single thing you have, you know, and what makes you think you're going to get more? And, you know, I look back on so many things because I had so much fear and was so goal directed and so that I would run over things and people and not realize, you know, that every little thing matters. Every person matters and honoring every single person matters so much. And so now I'm extra mindful of that because I know what it's like on the other side when I was so fearful that the things that I wasn't grateful for. And so now I'm 100% in tune with that. And the perpetual transmutation of energy. So higher vibrations consume and transform lower. So being very mindful of elevating your energy constantly. That relativity, relativity. Each person is going to receive a series of problems for the purpose of strengthening the light within. So do not run from your tests because that says to the world, to the universe, to God, that you don't want to be promoted. And you don't want more blessings and you don't want to become a leader. Realizing that you've got to maintain your reactions and your state of calmness no matter what comes your way. And, you know, again, I used to be a person that would react so much and I was raised in a very unstable home where my mom was very, very calm and my dad was very explosive. So that's how he reacted to fear. So I absorbed that energy and... You know, there were certain times where I didn't react, but then when I was faced with different things or a relationship that really, really scared me because I had never really been loved in that way before, that I would react out of fear that, you know, that person was going to leave. So just being very mindful of different things, whereas now, you know, I breathe, I, you know, look at different perspectives, I create space and realize everyone's coming from a different place. So the law of polarity, that everything is on a continuum and has an opposite. So we can transform undesirable things by concentrating on the opposite. So this goes to, you know, always responding in love. So even if someone responds in scarcity or in lack that, you know, again, recognizing I've been there, recognizing we're all human and thinking about how I can elevate the vibration and how I can respond with love with that person because maybe they've never had love. And you guys, the people that are the hardest to love are the ones that actually need it the most. So the compassionate aspect. The law of rhythm. Everything vibrates and moves to certain rhythms. 
And each cycle, you know, just simply reflects regularity. So just realize sometimes you're in a winter, sometimes you're in a spring, sometimes you're in a summer, sometimes you're in the fall. So, you know, check your attitude and adjust and realize that often things happen for us and it's to elevate your um, character. The law of gender. So, so often, you know, the world teaches us to focus on yang and to push, push, push. And realize that there is a balance between masculine and feminine. And realize that sometimes you need to submit in the yin and sometimes you need to flow and you need to release the pressure. And people need to be able to recognize both within you and that you are graceful as well as you are a go-getter. And so that kind of gives you an overview of each area. And again, I'm going to provide the attachments in my e-blasts and on the um, freebie portal. So habit identifiers. So in this area, it's health and wealth focused. And what I want you to take away from this is to focus on one to two areas every month, celebrate. So this goes back to gratitude and this goes back to the laws and being compassionate with yourself and you will see results. My transformation overall took a year and a half in the health aspects and in the wealth aspects, you guys, it took probably about three to four years of completely undoing you know, mindsets and different things that I had for years. So here, you focus first on the bottom left-hand corner, on, on the health. So do you drink alcohol less than three times a month? If you drink more, well, then maybe that's an area that you start in. Simply reducing step by step. Do you drink coffee more than, make this bigger, do you drink coffee um, you know, less than two times a day with dairy? If you're drinking it more, well, then maybe that's an area you focus because you need more energy. So then I would say, okay, focus on eating more, you know, protein more often, whatever it is, so that your energy starts to be sustained and increases. So for example, when I first started Herbalife, all I did was start drinking two shakes a day and beverage mix, and immediately I started noticing my energy went up without even adjusting anything else. So just keeping things like that in mind, you know, are you consuming sugar often? Again, that tells me, these things tell me you're lacking in energy, and so your body's craving and you're lacking in nutrients. So you're missing protein, you're missing complex carbs, you're missing healthy fats. So you can also go to my freebies on my website and pull up the grocery list by area. So are you eating more than three times a day? You know, are you eating out less than three times a month? If not, you know, maybe that's an area you focus on. You know, water, workouts, so on and so forth. You can see I don't even bring up workouts till the end because if all of this is out of whack, well, your workouts you're doing are actually defeating the purpose because you're actually increasing your body fat and decreasing your energy because you don't have the fuel in your system to sustain it. It's no different than a car running on no gas. You have no gas if you're not taking care of your body. Oh, and the money component also. So going back to the money, it's very interrelated. Are you spending money on alcohol? Are you spending money on Starbucks? Are you spending money on sweets? So don't tell me you don't have money to you know, do things with your health or do things with your wealth if you're doing all this. You know, are you eating out? less than five times a month, so the opposite is you're eating out more than five times a month. So obviously you have money to do that, so you have money to reallocate. Are you shopping? Do you have tons of beauty treatments? Do you have more than two cars? You know, on and on and on. And that shows you that you actually do have the wealth. You're, you're just not allocating it correctly. And you guys, keep in mind, we are not taught these things at school and often not at home because our parents didn't know any better. So give yourself the space and the grace to do this. And so here's some of the results with the programs, academies, and trip experiences that we've created. 
and um, health. This is just off of one survey of one of the tools with Herbalife. On top of that, I've added recipes. I've added meal prep. I've added meal and workout plans. We've added unlimited fitness, so that only intensifies the results dramatically. And you have choices within the programs and within the academies of what you absorb. Wealth, spending decreases by following these principles and these guidelines, and business, and the increase of growth and development of expanding your business, the depth, the value, what you offer, and so on and so forth. So in the next session, I'm going to talk about purpose to profits, and we're going to go through a four-part activity that will really give you some clarity um, on you know what you have inside of you and what you can create and how you can expand your life because I am all about helping you create a life you love with limitless potential and giving back. So bonus, make sure you visit the website and like I mentioned, recipes, grocery lists, divine laws, and more and really want to help you jumpstart your transformation. So our mission is follow love in all we do impact people and transform the mind and all of this also intertwines to help people create their own ambassadorships within all the different elements freely and to give back as fundraisers. So with that I thank you so much for your time and you know feel free to shoot an email you know explore through our website and so on and so forth and thank you so much and have an awesome day.